It is definitely winter time. Not a fan of the cold at all. But anyways, mm, welcome back to the channel, everyone. We are talking about a good topic today of just how much does it cost to maintain an STI or WRX. This also applies to BRZs as all of these service items, I guess, are pretty universal across all of these when I was looking at this Subaru service manuals. Now, everything that we're going to be covering in this episode is going to be um, dealer cost versus do-it-yourself cost of how much it actually costs to maintain these cars and how much money you save at the end. So all the service intervals that we're going to be looking at are going to be covered in your maintenance and warranty guide. Uh, we're going to be covering every mileage interval that is recommended in there and then all of the required maintenance items. We're going to look at the cost of both sides to see how much money you can save. And I'm going to tell you, it is not a number you'd expect. Ooh. So with that, we're going to jump right into it and let's start talking about cost of ownership. So when I was looking over this, I was relatively surprised at how much it actually costed going through a dealer versus how much you saved. So we're just going to start going through the mileage intervals here to see how much money we actually save. So the first mileage interval that you'll find in your service manual is 6,000 miles. So the intervals between all of these are going to be 6,000 miles as that's what Subaru recommends going through them. So the first one, just your basic oil and oil filter change. Now, you wouldn't think this is very much, and it's really not that much. So Subaru's average charge through their dealers is $69.95 for your oil and your oil filter to be swapped out. It's not, it's really not that bad if you don't feel like doing it, go to a dealer. But if you do it yourself, you're gonna end up paying about $42.09 uh, for oil and filter. So all of the do-it-yourself costs that I'm gonna be talking about in here are all OEM components. So none of it's gonna be aftermarket, none of it's gonna be different oils, it's all OEM Subaru parts, just to keep some consistency here. Now, doing it yourself with that OEM Subaru oil and filter, you're gonna save yourself about $27.86. Ooh, now that doesn't sound like much, but I promise you it adds up going through these 6,000 mile interval changes as Subaru recommends. So that first one, eh, not too bad. Now the second one, this is the, like I expected this to be a lot cheaper, but at 12,000 miles, you're gonna be doing that oil and oil filter again but you're gonna be doing a cabin air filter. So every other 6,000, every 12,000 miles, pretty much you're gonna be doing an in-cabin air filter. Now, Subaru's dealer cost on that is 159.90. That's a lot, that's a lot, that's a big jump for a cabin air filter. Like if you haven't changed a cabin air filter, it's really easy to do. You just pop the glove box out, pull out the old one, put in the new one, easy. Now, the do-it-yourself cost for this, much cheaper. You are looking at 65.07. $65.07 to do it yourself. OEM filter, OEM oil, OEM oil filter. Not bad. And with that, you're gonna save yourself $94.83. Ooh, 100 bucks. 100 bucks, that's like two gas tanks. Two full gas tanks. There's a mosquito, I hate you. That's two full gas tanks worth of oil. Worth of oil? Who fills their gas tank up with oil? With gas! It's 100 bucks. And then at 18,000 miles, we're just jumping back into doing oil and filter again. So these first couple ones are gonna be a little repetitive, but as we get into the higher mileage, that's where you're gonna start seeing a lot of these cost savings. Now, like I said, with that oil, super charge is 69.95. You can do it yourself for 42.09, you save 27.86. Not that bad, right? And then 24,000 miles, it's just gonna be that oil, oil filter, and in-cabin air filter again, which is gonna be the same numbers, 159.90 through Subaru, 65.07, you do it yourself, which nets you $94.83 in your pocket. Another hundred bucks. Ooh. So now we've kind of reached one where it gets a little more expensive. So at 30,000 miles per the Subaru service manual that I have over there on the table, at 30,000 miles, you're going to be doing your oil, oil filter, engine air filter, brake clutch fluid, and your drive belts. So it's really not that much stuff. It is annoying to do to bleed your clutch and replace the fluid, but it's it's not that bad. If, as long as you either have a power bleeder or a second person, you can get it done relatively quickly. And the cost for that through Subaru is going to be six hundred ninety nine dollars and seventy five cents, just shy of seven hundred dollars. That is ridiculous. But if you do decide to do it yourself, ooh, you're going to save yourself a lot of money. It's only $90.81 to get those OEM parts to be able to do it yourself, which saves you a whopping $608.94. It's a lot of money. That's a lot of money right there when you think about it. Why are you paying someone else to do this when you can do it? 
Now, I know there are some advantages to having dealers do all the maintenance. It goes in your car fax, so if you ever want to sell the car later on, you can. However, you can keep your receipts from all the maintenance you do, which is, I mean, essentially the same thing. It just doesn't show up on a car fax report, but you do have all the receipts for all the work that has been done. So at 36,000 miles, we just get back into doing that oil filter, cabin filter, and there's one more, your brake pads. Your brake pads are gonna have to be swapped per the service manual. That Subaru, I'm gonna grab that actually. Per the service manual that Subaru has. Now the cost for that, um, I don't know why they charge so much for uh, brakes, but you're looking at $959.90. That's your brake pads and your brake rotors, a lot of money. But if you do it yourself, you're looking at about $388.33. That's using OEM Brembo brake pads and OEM Brembo rotors. Well, super OEM Subaru Brembo rotors, but. So, I mean, you can do some shopping around that costs maybe less, maybe more, depending on where you order from. Uh, none of these prices include tax because tax is gonna vary um, for whatever state you're in or whatever part of the world. With that, you're jumping up to 42,000 miles now. We're at that next interval. At 42,000 miles, you're just doing your oil and oil filter, which again, is just that cost of $69.95 and 4209 if you do it yourself, which saves you another 2786. Who doesn't like that? Uh, 48,000 miles, another repetitive one. It's just oil filter, oil uh, in-cabin air filter, which is at another 159.90 versus the 6507 that you end up paying, which then again saves you another $94.83. Like these are, this is a lot of money. Like this is adding up relatively quick. Like do do this stuff if you can yourself, save your guys, save yourself some money. Uh, 54,000 miles, same thing, just oil, oil filter. It's that cost of $69.95 and uh, through Subaru and then 4209 if you do it yourself, which is another 27.86. But at 60,000 miles, we have, a, we have a pretty big one that is not cheap. So at 60,000 miles, Subaru recommends doing oil, oil filter, cabin filter, engine air filter, spark plugs, drive belts, brake and clutch fluid. Now, what would your guess on cost be? I don't know, I don't know what you said, but it's $1,009.65. That is not cheap. No one just has like, I mean, if you do, good for you, I don't. I don't have a grand to just be like, do it. Do the stuff. I don't. Um, your cost of doing it yourself is $177.59. Do you know what those savings are? Ooh, $832.06. That's a lot. That's a lot of money. Think of all the mods you can do. Think of that. You could you could buy you could buy some wheels. You could buy you could buy yourself some tint. Some of these some of these rain guards. You could protect yourself from the rain. The acid rain. Oh, it's not dangerous, but that's a lot of money that you save there. So with that, we're just gonna jump right into the other half. So this next half that we're gonna be going through is 66,000 miles up to 132,000 miles. And uh, there's a lot more savings in there. So let's just keep going. So at 66,000 miles, you're just, it's oil and filter again, which is just that same cost of 69.95 and your do-it-yourself cost of 4,209. Pretty average, pretty normal for what we've seen so far. Within you're gonna end up saving that 2786, which is nice. Now, 72,000 miles is gonna be a little bit different on this one. So at 72,000 miles, you're gonna be doing that oil, oil filter, cabin filter, fuel filter, brake pads, and brake rotors. Kind of expensive. You're looking at a cost of $1,111.56 to go to the dealer. That's a lot. You can do that much cheaper much cheaper. So buying all OEM parts, you can get the same cost for $624.33, which saves you a net average of $487.03. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money you're just throwing away going to the dealer. I mean, you're not really throwing it away. I mean, you are getting your maintenance done. You are getting it scheduled and serviced and whatnot, but you can save a lot of money here. Ooh, so 78,000 miles, oil filter and oil again, easy, $69.95. 4209 do it yourself and you're looking at a savings of 2786. Ooh, 20 bucks. That's like a good lunch at Chick-fil-A. Or like Denny's. Maybe maybe Dairy Queen. I don't know. Taco time. Ooh. Taco time. Ooh. 84,000 miles. You're going to be doing that oil oil filter and cabin air filter again. Going to Subaru, you're looking at that cost of $159.90 doing it yourself. $65.07 which nets you a savings of 
$94.83, you guessed it, that is correct. So now we're jumping up to 90,000 miles. Ooh, so you're gonna be doing that oil, oil filter, engine air filter, brake clutch fluid again, and then your drive belt. So we kind of touched on this one, but the cost on that one again, is gonna be $699.75. Doing it yourself, you're looking at $90.81, which saves you a good $608.94. So 96,000 miles, this is where it gets expensive. So my theory is once cars hit that 90,000 to about 108,000 mile range is when people start selling them because this is where those OEM dealer costs start to get really high. So like we talked about the 90,000 is what? $700, just shy of $700. 96,000 miles, you're looking at oil, oil filter, cabin filter, timing belt, water pump, pulleys, a trans, and a diff flush. Ooh, just shy of $1,300 coming in at $1,299.60 by going to your Subaru dealer. But if you can learn to do a timing belt on your own, much cheaper. You're looking at $376.79, which saves you a solid $922.81. It's a lot of money, guys. It's a lot of money we're just throwing away at these Subaru dealerships by not being able to do this maintenance ourselves. Luckily, there's videos out there, there's guides, there's walkthroughs, so that way you do need to be able to do it, you can do it yourself and save, save yourself that cash, that cash. Imagine like I had dollar dollar bills and it's just, but it's not. So. 96,000, that's a really expensive one. But once you get up to that 102,000, it's cheap again. You're looking at oil and an oil filter for that cost of 69.95. Doing it yourself, you're looking at 4207, saving yourself that 2786. Not bad. 108,000 miles, another expensive one. So there's gonna be two more expensive. 108,000 miles, you're gonna oil, oil filter, cabin air filter, brake pads, and brake rotors. Coming in at $959.90, going to Subaru. And if you're doing it yourself, you're looking at $388.53, saving you $571.31. Save that cash, save it. 114,000 miles, oil and oil filter again, 69.95, do it yourself, 42.09, save yourself at 27.86. 120,000 miles, you have made it to 120,000 miles in your Subaru, congratulations. Not a lot of people have made it this far. At 120,000 miles, you're gonna be looking at doing oil, oil filter, cabin filter, engine air filter, spark plugs, drive belts, and brake fluid and clutch fluid, which is the same thing, flush. Subaru, you're looking at $1,009.65. Doing it yourself though, you're looking at $177.59, which saves you $832.06. Cents. It's a lot of money, like we talked about. That might be some wheels. That might be some some rain guards. Protect yourself from the rain. Could be some of them. Some of those cool side skirts. Whatever you want. Whatever you want, you guys. You should just spend this. Spend this savings. Ooh, hundred and twenty-six thousand miles we are almost at the end of this you're looking at oil and oil filter again for 69.95 saving yourself 27.86 last one in the subaru service guide you're looking at 132,000 miles it's a lot you're looking at just oil filter oil and cabin air filter again at that 159 dollars and 90 cents doing it yourself you're looking at 65.07 saving yourself that 94 dollars and 83 cents now that's a lot of money. It's a lot of numbers we just talked about, but how much does it all equate to? So going to the dealer and having them do all this maintenance that we just talked about, you're looking at a total cost of $9,178.81. That's doing all just the maintenance only in the Subaru service manual up until 132,000 miles. That's a lot. And that's not including miscellaneous things that are gonna break along the way that you're not that we're not accounting for. Um, but that's just, that's the bare minimum basic that Subaru requires. But if you're doing all of this yourself, you're looking at a total cost of $3,019.34. It's a big savings. That total savings that you are keeping in your pocket is $6,159.47. 47 cents. That's a lot of money, you guys. It's almost 6,200 bucks that you're saving. You can do a lot with $6,200 just by learning how to do all this maintenance stuff yourself. It's really worth it. I promise you it's worth doing it. You get a lot of experience actually working on the cars, getting your hands dirty. You're going to have some frustrating times. You're going to be at the car, but you know, 
just live live your life live your life however you want but this is all the numbers that's all the information i'm just throwing it all at you you guys like always can do whatever you want with this information but keep in mind 6200 bucks savings over the course of 132,000 miles why not you can do a lot with 6200 bucks so that's gonna wrap this video up we're gonna get this camera moved back up to our normal spot close out this video and you know, do the thing. We're gonna do the thing. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap this video up. I hope that you guys got some enjoyment out of this video. And if you did, go ahead, hit that little thumbs up, turn that little thumbs up blue, ooh, ooh. Ooh. And just as a reminder to everyone, we still have that Perrin Air Oil Separator giveaway going. If you guys do want to get entered into that, jump back over to that mini series that we just started of what is the best oil. Go ahead, give that a watch. Um, the description on how to get entered into that one is in the comments below. And that's going to wrap this video up. Like always, if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them below or any good information to add to the general community. Ah, put it in, put it in the comments down below. Ah, and if you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, you guys can go ahead and do that right down here in this corner today. Oh, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, homies. Woo!